Hi, I'm Jules from Roland, and I'm going to show you the VAD 706 series V Drums acoustic design sets. The VAD 706 series is the highest tier of Roland acoustic look electronic drum sets with four color options available, all of which are powered by the same TD50X module. These are professional quality drum sets and can be enjoyed by players at home that just want the very best electronic drumming experience possible through to professional players using them for studio recording, TV production and live stage use. In this video, I'm going to take you on a tour of the VAD 706, show you what the kits are capable of and explain the key features for you. First things first, what are the top things you need to know about the VAD 706 V Drums acoustic design sets? Well, the TD50X module that powers these kits is the sound engine that provides a total playing experience. What that means is the sound you hear originates from classic acoustic drums recorded in some of the highest quality in some of the best studios in the world, but also the reaction or the behavior of how those sounds respond to your playing happens in a completely organic way. It's about the sound and the tone that you hear, but it goes much deeper in how the sound responds naturally to every minute drumming input without any delay. The TD50X module has great sounds inside our brand new preset drum sets, tuned to sound like great studio drum kits, recorded and mixed so that you're hearing what a studio recording engineer would hear across a bigger range of music genres, giving greater usability and enjoyability. We have digitally precise snare, ride and hi-hat instrument pads. Roland V Drums are the first electronic drum sets to redesign and evolve the electronic drum pad in decades and our digital pads that connect via USB allow drummers to use natural playing techniques and a range of playing surfaces for individual tones that never before has been possible with electronic drums. I'll show you what these pads can do later in this video. You'll see from the kit here that the pads are larger, so the kit has an acoustic drum set size and look, but also a great playing feel that comes with that, yet these are still 100% electronic drums, meaning they're quiet to play. The playing spread of the kit and the actual diameter and depth of the shelves and pads creates an experience that feels great to play and is actually the size of an acoustic drum set. Finally, you can mix outside of the module, which is perfect for live stage and recording performances. The TD50X module can connect to computers via USB for multi-channel audio recording, and there are 10 balanced audio outputs on the back of the module too. It means each part of the kit can be sent via its own dedicated channel for easier mixing, either live or after recording. So let's take a closer look at the VAD 706 set on what's included with the kit. Let's talk about the first thing that we see with this kit, and that is the drum shells. These are real hardwood drum shells with outer plies of maple. That's then finished in a gloss finish to make them look really bright, luxurious, really high quality. This is the natural drum set, which means it's got no color staining at all, but we actually have four colors available with the VAD 706 series. So these shells, as I mentioned, are wooden drum shells, but there is no acoustic sound to them whatsoever. They're fitted with Roland V-drum pads inside of the shells. Here we have a 10 inch shell, a 12 inch and a 14 inch diameter floor tom. The kick drum is 22 inches. The snare pad here is the PD140DS digital snare drum. We also have the 14 inch D digital hi-hat cymbals, which are brand new, and I'll talk about those in a moment. The CY18DR digital ride cymbal, and two 16 inch CY16RT thin crash cymbals. Those are 40% thinner than our previous cymbals, which means they really flex and respond really nicely as you play them. A really nice feature that I like with the VAD 706 series are these rim protectors. So we have a rubber coating actually over the rim. On our regular V-Drum series, that is black, but on these shells, it's a kind of translucent smoke color, which means that they really don't stand out so much. They blend in really nicely with the look of the drums. All of the drums have got Roland's uh, two-ply mesh heads, uh, on them, uh, which means their tension adjustability. You can then completely change the tension for your own stick feeling and rebound. 
But on the floor tom and the snare drum, we've got three ply mesh heads. That's because the diameter of those shells is a little bit bigger. So having three ply provides a better stick resistance underneath as you play them. Every drum that you see here, uh, across the toms at least, has a head sensor and also a rim sensor as well. That means you can have a different sound on each part of the pad. We've actually got more sensors inside these uh, toms as well. So it eliminates what we call hot spots. That is a louder playing noise towards the center of the drum. The kick drum uh, is 22 inches and actually has a pad mounted to a head. That then pushes air as you bury the beater into the head gives you a resistance uh, underneath the beta, but also gives you a more natural rebound and a really satisfying, very realistic uh, feel to playing the kick drum. The crash cymbals that we have um, also have different zones. So we have a bow playing area, an edge playing area, and you can grab the cymbals to choke them. But those cymbals are a little bit different from the ride and the hi-hat cymbals. As I mentioned earlier, those are digital. That means that they have extra sensing and extra playability uh, compared to the crash cymbals and some of the other pads in the kit. The ride cymbal has three key playing areas. It has the bell, the bow, and the edge. I can grab the edge to meet the cymbal, but also because of the multi-sensing that's inside this pad, I can put my hand on top of the cymbal and it will mute the sound as well. Equally, if I hold my hand on that cymbal and then play it, it will play a more muted tone. And that is the exact same technique that we would play with an acoustic ride if we wanted to. The hi-hat cymbals have that same kind of multi-sensing technology inside. So just as I can with the ride, I can touch the top of the cymbals to play a muted sound. I can play the, the cymbals open and grab them to mute the sound. But also I have positional sensing from the center of the pad to the outer part of the hi-hat pad as well. So it picks up exactly where I'm playing and adjusts the tone accordingly. The other thing with the VH14, the digital hi-hats, which were newly introduced with the TD50X module, is that as you change the position of your foot from closed to open, the resolution of the sound that you get between the close and open positions is richer. You've also got enhanced foot splash playing technique with these cymbals as well. So they really are very dynamic and you can really get great tones and playability and nuance from these hi-hat cymbals, um, just as you would with an acoustic set of hi-hats. This is the 14 inch PD140DS digital snare drum. This also has the multi-sensing technology in it as well. So I can play three different types of technique with this snare. I can play the head shot, the rim shot, but also the cross stick. And depending on where I place my hand, that multi-sensor will work out exactly the kind of technique that I want to play. So you can play all the kind of snare drum tones that you need to get and would expect to get without adjusting any technique whatsoever. All of the sounds in the VAD 706 kit are powered by the TD50X module. And later in this video, I'm gonna talk more about the details and the features of that module explicitly. All of these pads are mounted to the new DTS-30 series of drum stands. We have cymbal boom stands, we have cymbal boom and tom combination stands, 
and we also have the PDS20 mounting stand for the module specifically. All of these stands are finished in a high chrome finish. They've got thicker tubing, so they're durable and they're very, very sturdy. We have things like ball clamps for the cymbals and for the tom mounting, so you can position those wherever you need them to be, wherever is comfortable for you. And that set of stands is provided with the VAD706 kit. But it is worth mentioning, you will need to provide your own kick pedal, drum throne, snare drum stand, and hi-hat stand with the kit. So let's take a closer look at the TD50X module. I like to think of V-Drums and the TD50X as a warehouse, a collection full of the finest drum, percussion, cymbal, electronic sounds that you could possibly think of. So inside here, we've got over 900 individual instruments. Any one of those instruments can be completely edited uh, so they can be tuned and tweaked for your own preferences. When we record the sounds that go inside the TD50X module, we actually sample acoustic instruments inside some of the best studios in the world and we sample them across a range of different playing positions on those instruments and a range of velocities. So that when you hit a pad on your V-drum set, the sound that you get is representative of that acoustic instrument that we've recorded in that studio and you get the full dynamic range of that instrument. Inside the module, you've got 100 presets. So that's 100 kits that you can use at any one time. A lot of these are already preset for you. So we have over 70 presets and those are created by our product artists who are absolute experts in creating these sounds. And they've made the kits so there instantly satisfying for you to play. No real tweaks necessary. And that's across a whole range of different music genres. However, each one of these kits is completely editable and customizable by you. We also have a series of user kits as well. A user kit is essentially a blank kit space where you can go in, assign different instruments to any of the pads or any of the areas, add your own samples to it, for example, as well, and completely create and name your own kit, personalize it to you. Let me give you an example of how you can edit a preset kit. So I'm gonna press the instrument button, and you can see here that on the snare drum, I have a solid shell stainless type snare drum. And I wanna choose a completely different snare drum. So just by turning the dial here, I can choose a range of different drums. I quite like that hammer brass sound. I can then tune it. I can add damping. I'll make it more open. I can change the depth of the shell. I can change the position of the mic. I can adjust the snare strainer. The type of snare wires. And even how much snare wire I get. So you can see that you can edit instruments inside the TD50X very much like you would if you had an acoustic snare drum or an acoustic instrument in front of you. I could do similar things with cymbals, for example. I'm gonna change this for a different crush cymbal. I can change the cymbal size. I can change the thickness of the crash. I can add sizzle to the cymbal. So there's a number of different things there that you could do to personalize each instrument and the sound for you. A really neat feature inside the TD50X is the ability to adjust the transient of an individual instrument. So by using this, I can adjust the amount of attack 
or the amount of release on an individual pad, perhaps to give it more bite or to give it more punch or perhaps to make it even softer. I can also layer sounds inside the TD50X. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to go to the sub instrument page. And if I turn the sub instrument on, you'll hear that I've layered a clap underneath the main snare drum. I've used an internal sound here to layer underneath the main snare drum, but you can load your own user samples, that sounds that you've recorded, and you can layer those underneath an instrument or in fact even assign that sound as the main sound on any of the pads or any areas of the pads. I can also adjust the volume of the sound that's layered underneath the main instrument. You'll see here I can completely control the ambient environment inside the TD50X. So I have overhead mics, I have room mics, and I can adjust the gain of any of those and turn them on and off individually too. So here's a quick example of how that sounds. I have different ambient templates in here as well, and I can change these to give me different ambient sounds. But each one of these is customizable as well. I can also adjust things like the type of room I'm playing in. and even the shape and size of the room. And I can send the ambience to different instruments at different levels. I also have a range of multi effects inside the TD50X. So I have over 30 different types and I can use three different effects on any individual pad at any one time if I want to. So just to give you a couple of examples. You can do some pretty cool stuff by using the effects. You can also assign effects to any of the individual pads, and you can also send effects to different instruments at different levels. The module also has compression inside, and you can set that as global compression, or you can set it as pad compression. So you can send different amounts of compression to different individual pieces within the kit, or to the kit overall. We also have EQ. This is full parametric EQ, and you can use that again on any individual pad, known as pad EQ, or you can send global EQ. One of the key strengths of the TD50X is its ability to send individual pads as individual outputs to a mixing desk or to a DAW, for example. So via USB audio out, you can send up to 32 individual channels. So every individual pad of the kit could be sent to a separate channel, but also effects, compression, EQ, ambience can all be sent to different channels as well. I've got 10 audio outputs on the back of the TD50X module. Those are balanced, two XLRs and eight jack outputs. But the great thing is I can send any pad or any type of effect or any ambience, for example, to individual outputs. So in the output assign menu in the module, I can choose which pads go through the master outputs. I can assign individual pads to direct outputs. I can also choose overhead, room mics, effects, songs, clicks, even the mix in to go through individual outputs. And I can bypass the individual pad faders on the fascia so that I'm not affecting the mix that goes to the front of house desk or to the engineer. One feature I really like inside the TD50X module is the setlist function. So by pressing the setlist button, I can choose any of the kits and put them into a custom order so that if I'm perhaps performing with the TD50X and I need a particular kit for a particular song, I can put them in the order that I need to play them. I can have up to 32 different set lists and I can have 32 different kits in any order per set list. As most drummers will appreciate, being able to play in time is a key requirement and the click function inside the TD50X is a really useful tool. What you can do here is you can send the click through the headphones 
or through the master outputs or any of the individual outputs, you can completely change the tempo, the number of beats in the bar, and the note value. I've also got a coach function inside the TD50X module. So I can use tools like time check, quiet count, and warm ups as little tools to really help me improve and hone my timing and also track my progress. There is a recorder built inside the TD50X. So this allows me to play a drum groove and record it. I can then export that as audio or as MIDI to an SD card, and then I could perhaps import that into a DAW or email it to a friend, anything like that. I could play a track from the TD50X module and then drum over the top of it. And I have the ability to record the drums only or the drums with that track. So if, for example, a friend sent me a guide track or a demo track and wanted some drums adding onto that, I can play the track, record the drums separately or even record the drums with the track, send it back to my friend and then they have my drums on their track. I mentioned the song player there. And if I have any uh, audio tracks such as a WAV or an MP3 and I put those on an SD card, I can put the SD card into the TD50X and play the song directly from the module itself. So that's the TD50X module that powers the VAD706 kit. That's a really brief tour. We've barely scratched the surface. So why not go and check it out for yourself by visiting a Roland authorized retailer or by searching for more TD50X content online. Thanks very much for checking out this video and hope to see you again soon.